Now, credit spread risk in the banking book, that is, as I said, slightly ambiguous, even from the regulatory guidance point of view. If you have changes in credit spread arising as a result of changes in interest rates, they will be impacting not necessarily your income, but your EVE, because the market value of an instrument whose credit risk has changed when I fair value it will have changed. So therefore, if I am present valuing that number today and then recalculating it for an interest rate shock, I will have a change in, in present value. So from a EVE perspective, CSRBB is in scope. What does that mean in practice? Any kind of asset liability spread risk of credit risky instruments that is not explained by IRRBB and the jump to default risk. That's an important point. Any kind of spread risk that is not explained by IRRBB. Now, I actually think customer loans are explained by IRRBB. They aren't in a trading book, they're on the banking book. And as long as the customer isn't defaulting, or, and by definition of default, I include non-performing, then I will be receiving my income and I'll be expecting repayment. Again, if I am if I am provisioning that loan such that it is now non-performing, I'll have an IFRS 9 capital impact in any case as I provision it. And so that is addressed from a credit risk point of view. But as long as the loan is still performing and there is no provisioning required, it's still stage one in IFRS 9, then as far as I can see, I have covered everything by IRRBB. So I don't have any CSRBB to worry about. Now, that's the Basel guidance. The EBA, which again isn't the rule of law, your national, juris your national regulator should be giving guidance on this, defines it slightly differently. The risk driven by changes in the market perception about the price of credit risk, liquidity premium, and potential <coughs> components of credit risky instruments inducing fluctuations in the price of credit risk, liquidity premium, etc., etc., which is not explained by IRRBB. Now, that's quite a long-winded definition. And again, you might be able to point to changes in market perception being addressed through your provisioning impact on capital or your IRRBB. Okay. Of course, we also need to monitor and assess our CSRBB-affected exposures by reference to the asset side of the non-trading book where CSRBB is relevant to the risk profile of the institution. What does that mean in practice? In practice, here is my interpretation, what I, and this is what I would do if I was chair of the ALCO of, of your bank, this is what I would be saying. I think it applies only to a, it applies only to the asset side of the non-trading book, and that is in essence, your non-customer asset side. In other words, a euro bond or a bond portfolio. <laughs> Bond of credit risky bonds that you are holding for liquidity or cash management purposes or for investment purposes and which is fixed rate, fixed coupon, uh, would, would uh, have its credit risk perception, its present value change for changes in the credit rating of the bond issuer. So in that case, when I'm fair valuing it for an EVE calculation, I will have some sensitivity. I think if you have a bond portfolio, so in other words, not the customer asset portfolio, if I have a bond portfolio of credit risky bonds, for example, euro bonds issued by, by corporate entities, then I think CSRBB is in scope and I should measure that sensitivity through a credit spread basis point value measure, a CSO1. So that is what I think in practice CSRBB boils down to. Which is why I say on the next slide, CSO1, my NII sensitive, my related sensitivity, in essence, it's actually related EVE sensitivity. It's not so much NII sensitivity because you're still getting the same coupon. You're still getting the same coupon uh, unless the customer defaults. So it's really a EVE sensitivity assess a, a connection that you're concerned with. And we would measure that with a credit spread per basis point that you may use a value at risk measure for credit risk um, but uh, or a CSA one measure or both that, that that's your call 